So how much evidence do you need to submit with your spouse visa or your fiance visa application? I'm attorney Megan Pastrana of Immigration for Couples, and my firm is dedicated exclusively to helping couples across the nation and across the world in navigating the U.S. immigration process. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below. And I also invite you to follow our Facebook page, Immigration for Couples. We host weekly live immigration attorney chats here at our firm on both Facebook and YouTube. And during the live events, you'll happen, have an opportunity to ask me questions and I'll be able to respond to your questions live. So you won't want to miss that. So let's talk about how much evidence do you need to prove to immigration your relationship is real. So part of the spouse visa, spouse visa process and the fiance visa process is that you have to show immigration you have a real relationship based on love and not just to receive an immigration benefit. When you are proving your relationship, there's a lot of different categories of evidence that you can use. And I'll review a few of those categories with you in addition to answering that question of how much evidence you need. So the different categories of evidence include joint financial evidence. So evidence such as joint bank account statements, joint bills, uh, maybe you have a will and and or you have a life insurance policy and your spouse or fiance is listed as the beneficiary. So that's that joint financial evidence piece. It's common that fiance visa and spouse visa cases, you're not typically living together. So it's common that you might not have a lot of that joint financial evidence, but it is something that immigration will look at and will consider as, as relationship evidence. Another category of evidence is what I like to to refer to as that the lovey-dovey evidence. That's my favorite to look at, the photos of you both together, uh, letters that you've written one another, gifts that you have exchanged, letters from friends and family, for example. So that lovey-dovey evidence. And then proof of communications, such as text messages, uh, maybe WhatsApp chats, call logs, for example, and then proof of travel. So if you're not living together, proof that you've gone and visited one another, plane tickets, stamps in your passport, boarding passes. And then if you are living together, then if you have a joint lease that you can submit to prove your relationship. And the list goes on. The reality is that every couple is different. You have your own unique story of love and it's up to you to tell your story of love to immigration so they can see you're the real deal. So how much how much of all of that evidence do you need to provide? Typically, a good rule of thumb is between six to 10 strong pieces of evidence. That, that's not to say that if you don't, if you only have five pieces that you don't have a strong case or that if you have 12 or 13 pieces that that will be enough. It really has to do with how you are presenting your case. Would somebody who's looking at this see your journey of love and be able to tell this couple is, is real, this couple is definitely in love. So if you were to have evidence of children together, for example, that's a really strong piece of evidence. If you had several children together, their birth certificates and some joint bank account statements and some of that lovey-dovey evidence, that would be a nice, well-rounded case that would be a strong case that could potentially be approved by immigration. Maybe you have known each other for less time. So maybe you've known each other for less than a year. You don't have that joint financial evidence. You don't have children in common. So you're likely going to need to provide more evidence to immigration of all of those other different categories to really show, hey, even though we've only known each other for a short period of time, it was love at first sight, and here's why. And then you can give them all of those different pieces of evidence from those ideas that I provided. So again, a good rule of thumb, six to 10 pieces of different evidence of those different categories that I mentioned will give you a really strong immigration case. Immigration law is complex. That is why my firm focuses exclusively on couple-based immigration so we can stay apprised of all of the developments and changes and complexities and be experts in our field. And I have created with love and care and consideration of, for all of you who are going through an immigration process, a relationship evidence guide that goes into even more detail about 
what is the standard of, of evidence that immigration is looking for, the different categories of evidence, and something called an oversubmission, submitting too much evidence or not enough. I go into a lot of detail about all of that and all of the different kinds of evidence, and you can download that resource, that detailed guide, on our website, immigrationforcouples.com. And we have, I have a relationship, like I said, that relationship evidence guide and another video talking about relationship evidence that you can check out. I highly recommend you download that if you're in the process of beginning to collect relationship evidence and wanting to prove to immigration your love is real. Thank you so much for watching.